chapter 4, Mishnah 12. The previous Mishnah discussed the conditions needed to permit kosher wine to be stored on a doctor's property. This Mishnah adds one more condition. If a Jew prepares an idolater's wine to be kosher, and until he sells it, he places it in the idolater's property in a house that opens to the street, in a town that has both Jews and idolaters living in it, and the idolater writes him a receipt that says, I have received money from you as payment for the wine, so that a Jew can remove the wine from, can remove the wine whenever he wants, then the wine is permitted. Since the idolater no longer has any claim told on to the wine, he is afraid to be seen entering the building in which the wine is stored. But in a case where if the Jew would want to remove the wine, the idolater would not allow him to do so unless he gives him his money. This once happened in the town of Beishan, and the sages who were asked about it prohibited the wine. Since the idolater may keep the wine until he's paid, he considers it his own and does with it as he pleases. Thus, the wine is prohibited because of the concern that he performed a libation with it.